So I hope that you guys can hear me now a little bit and I am smoking a cigarette so deal with it little chickens. I might be organic and I might live on a lot of healthy stuff and I might have a healthy lifestyle but I do enjoy a cigarello. So here I am now in Kakuyasu. Uh, I hope I said the name right. Uh, Kayayasu. Kakai. Kayayasu. So and anyway. So I'm going to show you guys just a little bit what it is like for instance at the terminals so this is a bus terminal that you will get off all the buses trucks stop there they have places you can buy food empanadas anything that you want cell phone uh, mobiles <laughs> anything basically so again it's a beautiful little town people are very friendly and it is really hot so again don't be scared of traveling i'm literally I've never had problems and people are always scared of traveling through Paraguay. They all want residency, but nobody wants to explore Paraguay. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Now, just to show you guys around, obviously, that's one of the main roads. Behind me is another main road and all of so forth. So, life here is different. As you see, people drive without helmets, people drive they want the way they want to it is absolutely just amazing to see chaos and order in the same place but again it's up to you so as i'm having a little drag there of a cigarette basically travel paraguay people travel paraguay taxis everywhere people are helpful people are supportive people are curious so you have to deal with those kind of things so when you are traveling be prepared people will always ask you oh i'm a can or because i'm six foot one ripped and built like a shit brick house no not quite i'm getting there so <laughs> you know people are always interested because everybody's like five foot fuck all here so <laughs> you stand out in a crowd no matter how you try to blend in you're gonna stand out if you have light eyes pal the ladies is after you when I mean light eyes, I'm talking about any color eyes. They love color eyes. They like tall people, tall men. They like uh, men in fair skin. <laughs> Even men like men like us. So be prepared. You're going to have people flirt with you. You're going to people smile at you. People want to know who you are, where you're from, where you're going. What are you doing here? Why did you come here? You know, the curiosity. That is what I love about Paraguay. Everybody's curious. Everybody wants to know a lot of things. And as you can see, it is a self-help system. You have to just go with the flow of things. Do not think that, you know, the rules of the road is normal. Try to be sticking to the rules of the road is very important. But you're not always going to see everybody else following the rules of the road. Like this guy going up in a one way. Do you know what I'm saying? Crossing the road and these kind of things. I've seen four or five family members on one bike with shopping bags and all these kind of things. So you're going to get a lot of interesting opportunities interesting moments and it's the magic of experiencing life to the fullest of the capacity that you can so the journey continues i'm waiting for um Konru from south africa who's lived here since 1991 and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun a lot of things to discuss and uh, we're going to uh, enlighten you guys with new opportunities as well as excitement so as I said, our project name will change. We are changing direction. We are changing a lot of things and we are skyrocketing everything that we are doing. So again, just to demonstrate, this is typical small towns that you will live in, in Paraguay, and it is awesome. So life continues. Motorway running right through the town and on each side of it, it has basically shops and there is more city on that side. So this is a small part, but the city itself is a little bit more inwards and these sort of things. So when you travel, a ticket from Asocion one way to Itacarubi is 25,000 Guarani, one way, two ways is 50,000. To this direction was 50,000 and again, the same story. So it's not expensive, it's inexpensive, it's comfortable, it is a little unusual. Sometimes people fart on the bus, oh, it was horrendous. But you know what? <laughs> it's a bus, deal with it, you can't roll down a window. 
It's an air conditioned system and it recycles, recycles, recycles. So, on buses, what can you expect as well? There's toilets. There is no Wi Fi, so deal with that. So, when you travel, do make sure that you have adequate data and a good mobile network um, carrier. <sighs> have small change. Don't walk around with 100,000 Guaranis. Keep some 20s, 10s, and 5s in your pocket at all stages. Sometimes people will take chances and not give you change. And if you don't say, okay, where's the change? You know, then they won't say anything. <laughs> Sometimes, not all the time, chickens. So be prepared. It is fun, it's exciting. It is overwhelming sometimes, but you know what? Stay calm, tranquilo, relaja, and enjoy life. Love, light, and all those kind of things to all of your awakened souls. And the journey continues. I will make more videos talking about the project, what we are doing. I'll show you the land. I'll introduce you to, uh, you know, a few things. So love, light, and all those things as I travel on my journey. Now, I had some people actually send me a text message already saying to me, why don't you travel through Paraguay and, you know, do more videos, show us what Paraguay life is about. Now, I would love to do that, Chickens and Eagles, but I do not have the funds to fix old blue uh, Avery bug there because obviously that would be cool to have a cool little Volkswagen Beetle that's got no problems on it that we can travel i can take videos for you guys all of those kind of things now obviously i cannot do all of those videos and all these amazing things i do on a phone because obviously it's not a gopro you know what i'm saying you can record you can pause but only for a se few seconds on the phone and then obviously it goes you have to restart and i really don't have time for editing and for those who say oh but you have so many bookings coming you have so many things happening you know you have enough money you know, to fix your car and do things. I am fixing my car, but I'm not fixing it to the degree that I would like to do so that I can travel the whole of Paraguay and show you guys around. Because of the simple reason, money that I make goes back into the project, it goes back into the community, it goes back into the house, it goes back into the relocation program, it goes into the Camino Verde project, it goes into Resettle, Rebuild Lives, it also goes towards our humanitarian efforts. So, it's not like I'm splurging. As you see, I drive a bus, uh, in a bus, <laughs> I use the bus and I have a very old Volkswagen Beetle that's going to need a few dineros to get completely fixed up. So I am considering it. I am trying to find ways of doing it without taking money that belongs to what is needed for. Now, I didn't think about it before, but thank you very much, uh, Elise, uh, Mark, uh, Alex, uh, Jack, and I'm missing somebody they said to me why don't you take your car and drive around now if you guys want to sponsor me we fix the Volkswagen Beetle up to make it fucking awesome uh, I'm more than help I'm more than will willing to accept the help and offer and donations but as I say every funding all the funding that we go goes basically back into the project goes back into the humanitarian efforts resettle rebuild lives as well as helping people um, you know with immigration and all these kind of things. So love, light, and all those kind of things. Keep it shiny, keep it cool, and don't let fear control you. If fear control you, you will never experience Paraguay with all its beauty and glory. Love, light, and all those things. 